So I recently showed off this print in my video about hacking VARS mode and a lot of you guys have been asking about it and asking for the file. Well basically this is printed in a custom Matter Hackers Miku Hatsune Aqua Blue which I got from Equal Zero Designs quite a while ago. But no, I'm not going to give you this file because in this video I'm going to show you how I designed it in under 5 minutes so you can create your own version and do whatever you like with it. Let's get started. Alright, so to begin you need to fire up Mesh Mixer. If you've never used Mesh Mixer before, well you're in for a treat. You should check out my other videos on this awesome bit of software. But basically all we want to do is select import sphere. So this is our starting block and what we're going to do is turn the sphere into a low polygon object like this by decimating the triangles down or reducing it and then pretty much sculpting them to see to how we see fit. So to do that it's pretty simple. All we do is select our shape by going to select and then you might want to do control A for the hotkey or if you don't want to do that, you can also just double click the shape, to select all the triangles. They will go orange to show the selected. And then we go to edit and reduce. So the reduce tool will take those triangles and remove them and join them together to simplify an object. And we're going to choose the reduce percent. There's a few different ways, percentage, triangle budget or max deviation. We want triangle budget. We're going to completely remove most of these triangles. So you can see here it's already getting a little bit faceted, which is cool. And then we've got triangle count, so that's a thousand triangles, you know, you can go higher. But we want to go really low. We want to go way down, way down, to the point where actually it won't even let you really select it. So I'm going to enter it manually. So I'm going to enter 20. And that's a pretty good amount. So that's enough sort of low polygon or not enough, enough triangles to work with while we're maintaining the low poly look we're after. Accept that and we're good to go. Escape to unselect your object. So this is our starting block. Imagine virtual clay except you're starting with very low polygon virtual clay. We want to sculpt it now so go to sculpt on the right the left hand side and under brushes we want to choose move. So this is important, if you haven't used Mesh Mixer before, it might have a certain default on, so when you move a point, it does this. Which is not really what we want at the moment, so Control Z, undo that. That's called refinement, it's adding detail back in to try to do, uh, try to sort of do what we, what it thinks we want. But we don't want to do that in this case, we want to turn that off. So go to refinement on the left hand side, and turn it off. We don't want to enable refinement, we want that off. So I've got strength at 50, size at 55, whatever. You basically need to hover over the vertex, which is these points where the, the lines intersect, and start pushing and pulling at your leisure. So here you can see I've got this plane sort of uh, turned on. You can turn that on and off, by the way, under view. You go to view and show grid. That's off and that's on. And I'm going to sort of shape my, my iceberg, jewel, whatever you call it, crystal above that. So I'm going to pull this up here and I'm going to pull this one down like that, maybe pull this one in. Uh, I'm right clicking to rotate my view, pull this one in like that. Keeping in mind if you're going to print this in vase mode you don't want any severe overhang so anything like that for example that's too severe that's not going to print very well but anything kind of pretty shallow will work fine. So this is where you want to spend your time getting a shape that you like but for now I'm going to leave it like, oh, I might pull that one out a little bit more. You can even push them in. Let's do that. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So from here on, we're going to just cut the base off and that's called a plain cut. I have many videos on how to use plain cut, but if you've never seen it before, go to edit on the left hand side and plain cut. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You choose these sliders and move it where you want and it will cut the shape. So I'm just going to drag it down to perhaps here. And you can see it's going to give us a nice cut there. And then cut, discard half and remesh. Perfect. So we've got that nice shape there. And finally, we want to give it some sort of useful dimension. We haven't defined what size it is yet. So to do that, you go to analysis and units and dimensions. And as I said, we haven't defined it. So at the moment, it's uh, what's the height? 18 millimeters, a little bit too small. Let's make it 150. There we go. 
So nice and fairly fairly substantial. Depending on your print volume, you may, may, may want to make this bigger or smaller. Again, keeping in mind the overhangs for vars mode if you intend to print it like that. So we're done. File and export as an STL. I'm going to call it crystal. Crystal. There we go. And that's it. Let's fire up the, the slicer and see how it looks. And here's our shape. So I'm just going to turn the wireframe on so you can see the, the triangles. And it's a very, very tiny file because there's almost no data in it. It's just these interesting shapes in 3D space. And I'm going to turn uh, VARS mode on. So under layer in Simplify 3D, single outline corkscrew printing mode, VARS mode, that's on. And this would print completely hollow with no issues and give us a really interesting shape like this. So if you do it in translucent plastic, you can even put a light in it. Make sure obviously it's not going to melt it. Maybe an LED would be best. And you end up with something like this. So thanks for watching, guys. I am sorry for not giving you this file, but to be honest, I hope you've learned something. And I hope you give us a crack and make your own awesome version of it or take this idea and push it on with further inspiration. Also, don't forget VARS mode. You don't need tops to be filled if you watch my video on uh, hacking vase mode, you can have the top completely open. So you could have this with a face uh, plane cut at the top, and then you have an opening at the top, whatever you like. Take this as an inspiration and push it forwards into your own creativity. My name's Angus, and if you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit that subscribe button, it helps us out a huge amount, and look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later guys, bye. Rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into water. He has actually.